What is up guys, um, welcome to the channel and this is a video I've wanted to put up for a few days but I haven't been able to. Um, I uh, Today is Wednesday the 20th of December on last Friday, Friday the 15th of December I I lost my best friend um, and dear boy Rufus, you know, the dog was on some of the thumbnails I got. I'd say goodbye to him for the final time. Um, you know, he crossed over the Rainbow Bridge. Um, it's so hard. He was 19 years old. He would have been 20 uh, soon. But he was 19 years old. Um, and if I was 57, that would have been a third of my life. He's been with me over a third of my life. I'm only 52. So he's been with me way over a third of my life. So, uh, I mean, I want to continue making videos for the channel and different things and stuff, but, um, I can't while that was over my head. I, I needed to get that. He deserves, you know, he deserves a mention. All my dogs do and they pass on. You know, Millie did, Taz did. And so, yeah, it's been a very, very tough week. The weekend was awful. Just awful. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I mean, I've been in bits. Absolute bits. I mean, I... Know. That little guy broke my heart. But, um, give us a year, a year to the day. Um, well, the same day was the Friday we moved a year ago. Um, so he gave us another year of life. Um, you know, he went on and on and on. It's just incredible. So we had a good summer together, had some good times together, and that's what I'm going to remember. You know, he we got him this stroller so that we could go out and about, so we could get him out, get get that sea air in him, you know, because he loved going down by the seafront and he used to stand up in it and sniff, just stand and sniff um, when the waves and, were coming in, crashing in and the wind was blowing, he could smell the sea, the salt. And uh, on one occasion, we well, a couple of occasions, we put him on the actual, lifted him down onto the actual pebbles and he'd sort of sniff and lick the rocks and... He was, you know, he was blind and pretty deaf, um, but his sense of smell was very, very keen. But, oh man, do I feel a loss? <laughs> do I feel a loss? Um, since, oh, for, this is the first time since, you know, I, I left home, really. I've been without any dogs. I've always had a couple of dogs, you know, two or three. Some, one time in my life, I had four dogs at once. Um, but now, you know, so when one passed away, there was always another dog there, you know, or other dogs to to help help me along, you know, so to speak. Um, now there are none. I mean, we've got a cat, and he's behaving uh, differently as well. So, um, yeah, I, but... Um, the hardest part for me is going downstairs in the morning because he used to sleep downstairs by the radiator in his little bed. And uh, it used to be a routine. I used to go down and change his water and uh, say good morning to him and that. Unless he was fast asleep still, and I'll just leave him until he woke up naturally. Um, yeah, he's just left such a void. And I noticed the other day when my wife went had to go down to Plymouth, uh, and I was here working at my desk uh, how quiet it is here without him I mean I never really thought of him as that noisy really you know he didn't bark or anything but you could hear his feet tip tapping on the floor and because he was blind he would often walk for his water bowl or get stuck under one of the chairs or you know sometimes he even bang into one of the cupboard doors like you know like just bash his like, oh mind your head bud um but he was a dear old thing he he was so happy. He was the happiest dog I think I've ever had. You know, one of the most cheerful, constantly cheerful. I mean, they say Jack Russell's get grumpy as they get older, but he never did. 
he never did. Um, yeah, he used to like uh, Lily's Kitchen um, dog food, which is you know not the cheapest. <laughs> But he, he loved the different all the different flavours you could get in that. Uh, there was fishy fish pie, uh, lamb hot pot, wild campfire stew. He used to love all that. I mean, because he, he wasn't eating that brilliantly when we lived in Plymouth. But when we came here and we decided to try him on this stuff, he yummed it up. He yummed it up. So, and it, and the funny thing was, I mean, he had a healthy appetite right up to the end, like, you know, the day before. The day before, he, he, he yummed his food up. He, I'd, I'd dish it up and ring the bell and he'd be all alert. This, you know, because he, he was quite deaf, but not completely. And if you rang this bell, he could hear that and he would try and home in on it. You know, oh, man, oh, I miss you, boy. I really miss you. Things aren't the same. <laughs> but... You know, life goes on, but it's just it's just difficult right now. And of course, you know, Christmas is upon us. It's that time of year when, um, excuse me, when things like this happen and it seems to hit you harder. I don't know if it does hit you harder. It's just it's just hard anyway. It's bloody hard anyway. But oh yeah, I mean, I've had so many dogs in my life. Uh, it doesn't ever get any easier <laughs> saying goodbye to them. It really doesn't. I'm glad he wasn't like ill for ages though, and then you know suffering and going downhill gradually. No, it's kind of like uh, that morning. Well, overnight he got out of his bed, wandering around, and he collapsed, and he couldn't get up, and he was stuck, and he was panicky. So I went downstairs, and we 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 put him back into bed and sorted him out. And then, but throughout the day. When I came down, well, he was asleep when I came down, but uh, when he got up, he, he kept collapsing. And I thought, this is odd. Um, then he started panicking, and then he started whining and howling. And I thought, he's in distress. So I tried to get him in the vets here, you know. And, you know, it's one of the one few times, because he's registered here in Seaton. There was no vet on duty. There was no vet available that day. I was like, oh gotta be kidding me so we found uh, around in Axminster and the nearest they could get us in was like about six o'clock or six something in the evening I was like it's too too long I can't have him suffering this long he needs to be seen um, got one in the end in Honiton he jiggled their appointments around and said yeah you come on in so we did uh, we were like you know what is it from Honiton about 20 minutes away I just told him to work what the deal was, and they said, yep, go, you know. They're good as gold about that sort of thing. So, so I did, um, we went there, and I saw her doing all the tests I've seen done over the years with dogs, older dogs, and, you know, they lift their paw up to see if they'll write it again instead of it. He didn't, he just kept it there. Well, that's not a good sign, he's probably had a stroke or something. She said he's definitely had a bleed on the brain, and there's a few other bits and pieces. She asked all about the history of him. Said, uh, "Well, he's nineteen. He said, well, what do you want to do? We can do tests and uh, try and get him, you know, sedated and whatnot." I said, "It just sounds like you're trying to prolong his suffering here." I think the best thing, and this is, don't think I made this decision lightly because I didn't. I said, "I, I just don't want him to suffer anymore." Um, I think the best thing. You know, um, um, and I had, <sighs> God, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> it's been a few days as well. Coffee. Yeah, but this is a, but making this video is part of the healing process, I think. Sorry, guys, look at me. <laughs> um, Part of this is the healing process. I mean, it's been slightly better on a daily basis. Still dread going down in the morning, so I'm like, oh, I swear I can hear him sometimes. Yeah, but he can't, can't do. Um, I decided to bring him home with me. 
I want him here. I wanted him here. I want him here. So, in our courtyard, under the artificial grass, I sort of took that up. I dug a, well, between us, we dug a lovely deep hole. Uh, we buried him there. Kept his little jumper on. Um, he looked quite peaceful. We wrapped him up and filled it in. And then we planted this, I think it's called a gold crest tree on top of him anyway. Uh, put the, the, the artificial grass back but with the sort of square cut around it. And we've got some pebbles that we're gradually taking from other parts of the garden and just putting it around so that it looks... It's starting to look really nice now, really, really nice. Um, it's lovely because like, every time I go out the garden, especially in the summer, I'll be able to sit with him, a cup of tea and chat to him and, you know... Um, yeah, just remember the good times, you know, cause so many. Imagine after 19 years, so many good times. Um, he was awesome. He really was. He got me through, uh, well, him and his sister, Millie, they got me through the death of my uh, old black dog, Taz. Um, if it wasn't for them, I'd have done one of those other suckers with a pit of depression. Oh, man. Pets, you know love them to bits but they don't have to break your heart when they go oh. anyway I needed to put this video out I needed to say to say it in words because it helps me it's going to help me get over it and um, then the next video I make this is done then not that you know I'm trying to inform the world about my goings on but uh I think he, you know, it's deserving. And this way, the memory of me talking about him, it's out there digitally, and it's out there. It's out in internet, internet land then, and it's it's kind of a record of it. Um, yeah, but God, I love that dog. <laughs> I loved him to bits. <laughs> Such a good boy. Um, of course, he couldn't, like I say, he couldn't walk very far in the end. That's why I got the stroller to get him around. Oh God, we went places, you know. Went, oh, we did miles. Nothing. Miles. I used to take a little thing of uh, water for him and um, treats for him and anything else. Wrap him up and blankets and goodness knows what. He was, he was loving it, and he was becoming a, like a like the local celebrity almost. Everybody would stop and talk about him, and oh wow, they would ask about him and stuff. And, you know, it's, it's a joy to see, really. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'm making lots of noises and um, I'm slurping my coffee and whatever else. I've been poorly as well recently. I'm still quite poorly. It's that time of year, I guess. Um, it's a nasty cough and cold going around. Um, a lot of my family and friends have had it, um, but the cough seems to linger. It just stays and stays and stays. I'm on my second week of antibiotics and. I'm on these uh, steroids as well, so still a bit wheezy. When I go out out walking, that's when it hits me. I'm all right here, not too bad indoors now. You wouldn't know I had a cough, but um, it's still a bit chesty and nasally and whatever else. But that's the way of it. I always get pulling this time of year, no matter how careful I try and be. Anyway, that's it, really. Um, yeah, I don't want to go on too long about it, but, um, yeah, I just haven't been able to make videos because, not just because of the time factor, but I haven't felt like it. It's been hard at work as well, you know, trying to be, go through meetings and talk to people and... There's always something that bloody reminds you as well. Wherever you look, it's like, you know, or someone will do something, say something, and you'll see something that just reminds you of stuff. <laughs> and uh, that's just, you know, one of those things, I guess. Anyway, I will be able to make a videos now. I've got a lot in the pipeline. And um, I am hoping in the new year to kind of sort my channel out a bit, get a bit more of a sort of a steady 
stream of videos and different types of videos. Um, I've got a couple of ideas um, in that department. And I hope you guys can stick with me and I'll be able to give you some, you know, more hobby stuff, hobby related stuff. And um, together, my friends, together, we live. Rufus was all about life and loving life. So I've got to take a leaf out of his book and like, live for the moment more, I think. So anyway, so that was Rufus. Born in 2004 on New Year's Day, as was his sister Millie, because um, they were from the same litter. But yeah, but he's born in 2004. 2004 to 2023, nearly made it to 2024, nearly. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I guess that's it. I'm not going to wait until I finish my coffee to end the video because I I feel it's over. Um, but there you go. If I could impart a message to Rufus, it'd be sleep well, my friend. You've earned it, and I'll see you again one day. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on another video. Bye for now. Bye bye.